Welcome to The Eclectic Thrifter and Crafter, where we thrift and craft with purpose. Merry Christmas! This is a little view north of my house. It's about three roads away. This is where I grew up. That is Hayden Lake. And way across in the far right corner, Bing Crosby had a summer home. For today's extra project, you're going to need a bowl ready with water and a saucer. You will need salted caramel meltables, and I store my chips and sugars and things in mason jars, even in the refrigerator. They store vertically, it's a space saver, it is much better than plastic. Today's flavor is spiced apple cider. My friend Patty came over and showed me how to do this on Thursday. I have all my tools ready to go. You'll find various shapes in your kitchen or cupboards or cabinets that'll be very helpful. When you put your meltables in the microwave, you will put them in on 30 seconds at a time and stir between intervals. It will take you one to two minutes to complete the melting process. If I can do this project, you can do this project. I'm fairly inept in the kitchen. Now I have my molds ready and I fill each mold and I found what worked for me was to let the mixture cool just a bit and then I got a nice thick side and it avoided any breakage. I didn't break one in this entire process, which having never done it before, it was very pleasing to not um, have too many failures. Really the only three cookies I can make with any degree of success are biscotti, pasales, and I did make Mary Berry's Florentines and they turned out well so I'm getting better and see how thick the sides are and it doesn't pull in the bottom when you let it cool just a little bit after you've put it in the mold. Now I'm squishing an hour and a half to two hours worth of work down into about five minutes so hang in there with me. You're going to heat up your water in your bowl for three minutes and I did pop the saucer in for a minute on its own and you'll see why in just a moment. There we go. See how nice that is? Makes a nice flat edge and you're all ready to attach both sides. And last evening we had a Tom and Jerry party. I've never done that before. And making the Tom and Jerry's was a lot of fun and everybody just loved them. I have a vintage Christmas and I thought having a Tom and Jerry party would be just super fun. And it was. And I served these as an alternative drink because I have several friends that don't really like the taste of, of alcohol flavored drinks. It is not a very strong drink, uh, Tom and Jerry, but it just has a little flavor in it. These made a wonderful alternative hot drink. These were really enjoyed. See how easily they come together? They look like little UFOs. This was my friend Patty's idea. She served them at her husband's Christmas party about two weeks ago. And she was very kind and found the time to come over and show me how to do it. I've never had these little bombs before. 
but I'm going to try and make some more next week and send them to my sons for Christmas and my grandchildren. I have another project similar that's coming up for a Tea Tuesday project. I am just waiting to get sugar gloves in the mail. And here they are. Please give it a try. If I can do it, you can do it. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. Please like, subscribe, share my channel with your thrifting and crafting friends. Check us out on Instagram and hit that notification button for announcements for future thrifts and crafts. Merry, Merry Christmas. Have a lovely day.